everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I just wanna jump on here real quick and show you my small Sephora haul. Um, this is from the, the recent VIP sale. The, I got 15% off um, and the Sephora items were 30% off. So I just wanted to show you my little haul and what I got. So the first item, is the Sephora Collection Hair Repair Mask. This is retails for $12. Um, it's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. It's kind of a small size. I feel like I'm gonna go through this so fast. I haven't tried it yet, but I did open it to smell it. And it smells fine. It smells like, kind of like your traditional shampoo conditioner scent. It's supposed to have good ingredients in it and it seems pretty thick and that's what I look for in a hair mask and it's something I needed. So yeah, I'll try this out and I'll let you guys know in the future what I think of it. Another item for from Sephora Collection is a brush. I have heard for years how great their brushes are. And this is the Pro Concealer Brush number 71. This retails for $22. Um, I did try it today. It is a little smaller than I thought it would be, but it actually worked really well around the eyes. But I felt like when I did like my forehead, this area, it just took a little longer to blend than a larger brush would. I know that's such a like a small <laughs> complaint, but I mean, it was nice. I'll have to use it more, but it, it was nice and delicate around the eyes. So, got that. Now this item I definitely did not need. Um, it's definitely, I've been influenced to buy this. I'm wearing it right now. It is the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm, and this is in the Pink Sugar. This retails for $24. So, it feels nice, it feels hydrating. It's not sticky, it's not too thick. It's really cute, aesthetically pleasing packaging. Um, it has like a nice little applicator, like it hugs your lips. It smells good. This one, to me, smells like um, cupcakes, like vanilla cupcakes. And I don't, I, I guess it leaves a slight tint. I mean, this shade's a little lighter, like a slight pink tint, barely noticeable though. Um, I mean, it's nice, but I don't think it's any different than my cheaper lip balms, so. And then I also bought this. This is the Huda Beauty Mini Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder, and I got the shade Pound Cake. This retails for $22. They were sold out of the full size, which actually, I think the full size is, what is it, 28 or 38? Um. For a loose setting powder, I feel like it's a better value to get the full size, but the packaging is so strange. Like this, you lift up, or maybe this side you lift up, and then you like twist it, and then you have a little puff, which I guess would be good for on the go, but you can't really get all the nooks and crannies, and then you could like shake out the powder right here. I only used it today. It is fragrance. It kind of smells like a perfume, but I don't think it's too strong, at least in my opinion. But I mean, it feels soft and smoothing on the face. It feels nice. I'll have to keep trying this. So far, my first impression is it wasn't anything super special, but I'll have to keep trying. So that's everything I purchased. Now I'll show you guys a couple samples in my 100 point perk. I always love getting perfume samples. This is the Victor and Roth Flower Bomb Dew sample and it's in the floral family. And the top note is Dewy Rose, middle is Iris and Bergamot and the base is Musk. I'm actually, I only sprayed it like maybe twice and it's already almost gone, but um, I don't know, it's okay. It's not my favorite type of fragrance. It's very very floral. It is sweet, but it's something more my daughter's into, so I'm actually gonna give her this sample. But I always love choosing samples. I mean, it's nice, but it's just not my favorite. 
I chose this little sample from Herbivore. It is the Blue Tansy BHA and Enzyme um, Pore Refining Mask. So I I did have a serum from Herbivore and it was nice. So yeah, I'll, I guess I'll try this tonight, see how it goes. And for my 100 point perk, this is from Moroccan Oil. It is the Fragrance Mist for hair and body and the notes. It's a warm floral and then it has amber, magnolia, and woody notes. And I like this. This smells like fresh and clean and it's not a bad size. Yeah, it's just like a clean, fresh smell. So yeah, that is my little haul. Um, some of these people's hauls that I see, they're spending like $400 or something crazy, but I'll tell you how much I spent and how much I saved. So the total of everything would have been $80. And with my 15% off and the 30% off the Sephora items, I saved $17.10. And the tax was $5.50, so the total I spent was $68.40. So to me, that's still a lot of money for a few products, honestly, but... I'm glad with everything I got. I just wanted to, I don't know, I got caught up in the hype of the Sephora VIB sale and I wanted to pick up a few items and of course share it with you guys. But anyways, um, that is it for today's video. Um, my next video is going to be my 60s video. I'm going to probably post that after this video. So I'm excited to share the 60s makeup tutorial. But okay guys. Have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye.